Hello viewers, welcome to Eklavi Academy. In this video, we are going to see the MCQs on tuple relational calculus in database management system. Okay. So the question one is the tuple relational calculus is the dash query language so the options are procedural non procedural object oriented then dynamic so the right answer is it is non procedural then question 2 qbe is based on options are tuple relational calculus relational algebra domain relational calculus all of the above so the right answer is it is domain relational calculus Then the third question, a core expression in the tuple relational calculus is done as P, P of T, P, T of P, T, P of T, then P, T of T. So the right syntax is option C, T, P of T. Then the question 4, if the formula contains free variables, then it is called Options are open, closed, both open and closed, then none of the above. So the right answer is it is open. So kindly remember this one. If the formula contains no free variables means it is closed. Okay. If the formula contains free variables means it is open. So the right answer is it is open. So the formula contains no free variables means the answer is closed. Okay. Then the fifth question. Which of the following is the type of order in tuple relational calculus? Options are range, comparison, constant, then all of the above. So the right answer is it is all of the above. So the range or term, comparison or term, then constant or term. So these are the types of or term in tuple relational calculus. Then the sixth question, which of the following is the syntax of constant comparison or term? So the options are R of T, S dot A, T dot T dot B, T dot A, T dot C, then all of the above. So the right answer is, Option C because here they are asking the syntax of constant comparison or term only. So R of T means this is the example for range or term. Then S dot A T T T dot me means it is comparison or term. So in this one the variables S and T is the tuple variable. Then A and B are attributes. Then theta is the comparison operator. Okay. So this is the syntax for comparison atom in the tuple relational calculus. So next one T dot A, T dot C. So in this one T is the tuple variable. Then C is the constant. Then A is the attribute. Then theta is the comparison operator. Okay. Then the question seven. Which of the following is not the rule for forming the formula in domain relational calculus? So the options are on R term is the formula, then if F1 is the formula, then negation F1 is false, if F1 is true. Then if F1 and F2 are formula, then F1 intersection F2 is true then none of the above so the right answer is none of the above because these three are rules for 
forming the formula in domain relational calculus. Then the eighth one, which of the following statement is are true? Statement one, f1 of t1 is equal, t1 dot name is equal, clack kind. t1 is free, f1 is open. Statement two, f4 of there exists t1, t1 dot sex equal to female, then t1 is bound, f4 is closed. So the options are, S1 yes, one only, S2 only, both S1 and S2, then neither S1 nor S2. Okay, so here the right answer is it is both S1 and S2. How? So, first I describe the definition for free variable, bound variable, then open and closed. Okay, so first. We are going to see the example for free variable. Okay. So, we are taking one example. So, T, employee of T and T dot department ID is equal to So this query select all the tuples of employee name who works for department 10. Okay. So in this query which one is the tuple variable t dot department id is the tuple variable. Okay. So this variable is called free variable. Why any variable without for all or there exist condition, it is called free variable. Again, I repeat the definition. Any variable without for all or there exists condition, it is called free variable. Here, the tuple variable t dot department id don't have any quantifier, universal quantifier or existential quantifier. So, which means for all or there exists symbol not present here so which means so this is free variable so t dot department id is the free variable okay so we will see another example so in the another example so t employee of t and so t dot salary so greater than 10,000 so this query selects the tuples from employee relations such that resulting employee tuples will have the salary greater than 10,000 so this one is the example of selecting the range of values okay so in this given example which one is the tuple variable t dot salary Okay, so previously uh, I explained the definition of free variable. Any tuple variable without for all or there exists condition, it is called a free variable. Okay, so bound variable. So here the case is bound variable. So bound variable means a tuple variable with for all or there exists condition. It is called bound variable. So here t dot salary is the bound variable. 
ओके बिकॉज हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट द एम्प्लॉयज हू गेट द सैलरी ग्रेटर देन टेन थाउजेंड ओके सो विच मीन्स दिस वन इनडायरेक्टली इम्प्लाइज द दैर एग्जिस्ट कंडीशन सो दिस वन इज द बाउंड वेरिएबल ओके already in the previous question i gave the definition for this one see here if the formula contains free variables means it is open if the formula contains no free free variables means it is closed okay so based on this conditions so we are going to solve this question so here the question which of the following statements is true so here statement 1 f1 of t1 equal to t1 dot name equal to clerk kent okay so kindly look at this statement f1 of t1 t1 dot name equal to clerk kent so in this one t1 dot name which means this is the tuple variable so this tuple variable is not uh, bounded by any values so which means this is free variable here no condition of for all or there exist so which means t1 is the free variable so here they are given t1 is free so that is correct okay next they are given f1 is open so what is the definition for open what is the definition we go to the definition if the formula contains free variables okay so here the formula is f1 of t1 so the formula contains the free variable because t1 is the free variable so if the formula contains free variables means it is open okay so the given statement is true then look at the second statement f4 of there exists t1 t1 dot sex equal to female okay see here here t1 is the tuple variable so this variable is bounded by the there exists condition so which means T one is the bound variable. So the given statement T one is bound is correct. So next one, what they given F four is closed. Okay. So look at this formula. If the formula contains no free variables. because in this formula no free variable because we are having only one bound variable okay so which means this is closed no free variables means this is closed so which means f4 is closed also correct so this statement also true so the right answer is both s1 and s2 okay then the ninth question consider the given example f6 of t1 is equal f1 of t1 intersection f4 of intersection there exist equal to t1 dot name is equal clerk hand intersection there exist t1 t1 dot sex equal to female so which of the following is true so the options are t1 is free t1 is bound f6 is open then all of the above okay so we check the options one by one now so first one t1 is free so this is the first option okay see here here we are having 
t1 dot name so this is the tuple variable so this variable is not bounded by any condition for all or that exist so this is independent so which means t1 is free here so this option is correct okay then we move to the second option t1 is bound see here we are having one more variable so t1 dot sex okay so this variable is bounded by condition that exist so which means here t1 is the bound variable so the second statement also correct so now the third statement f6 is open okay so look at here we are having f6 of t1 so in the given example in one occasion t1 is free in one occasion t1 is bound so in this scenario if we are have at least one free variable means it is open the formula is open so here we are having t1 is free and t1 is bound okay so check the combinations so at least one free variable here so which means the formula is open so which means f6 is open so all of the above is the right option here okay then the tenth one a tuple relational calculus expression may generate finite relation in finite relation in valid relation then composite relation so the right answer is it is in finite relation okay so i hope everyone understand the concept of tuple relational calculus if you people find our videos interesting and informative so kindly provide your support through likes comments and share the video links with your friends and colleagues thank you all